Hello, beloved. I thank you so much for your time, and I thank you for joining me on the Prophetic Vessel Show. This will be your message from God, Ra Allah, Source, the Divine. I'm grateful for your time. To those who are keen or interested in becoming members of my Patreon, on my Patreon, I do offer weekly sign readings for $10 per month based on love as well as spiritual path. I also offer on my Patreon personal readings. For $50 per month, you get a personal reading from me every month based on love, spiritual path, career and finances, as well as um, ancestral messages. I also now offer one-on-one -on -one sessions slash life coach sessions. Those will be once off and not monthly. You can only book me for those directly via my email, which will be listed in my description box below, as well as the link to my Patreon if you'd rather join my Patreon instead. You can also join my Patreon by typing what is on the screen via Google, search it, and it'll lead you to my Patreon website. Without further ado, let us tap in and find out why were you spiritually led here? What is here for you, beloved? Why did you resonate with the title? And why did your own YouTube algorithm present you with this message? Let us tap in and talk to God, okay? So... There's a woman here who's in a relationship with someone um, and this person wants to um, abandon the relationship and leave the woman, okay? He wants to move on to another person, which is you, okay? So this person wants to be in a relationship with you, but they need to leave someone else in order for that to be possible. That person that they need to leave is actively doing um, love spells on this man to keep this man in a relationship with her. And she's actively doing black magic on you to destroy your life so that this man won't want to come to you. So she's like, I'm hoping that these two spells either one of them i'm hoping they work because she feels like if she does this this love spell on this man and he loves her for all eternity then everything will fall into place perfectly because she wants to keep this man and she's like okay if that doesn't work then destroying you will keep this man away from you and that works fine as well so she's like either one i just hope I hope to get him to fall in love with me or keep him away from her. So this woman has been actively trying to destroy your life using spiritual forces, right? She's been using black magic. She wants to destroy your finances, your beauty. She wants to destroy your family life. She wants to destroy your sacral chakra, your crown chakra, your solar plexus, your roots your base chakra this woman has been doing everything in order to destroy your life everything with this black magic here and at the same time she's been with the same effect of putting her all in it she's been trying to keep this man with the same strategy right the spells here so this man is sick of this woman like yeah this man does not want to be in a relationship with this woman he does not want this woman he's over anything that has to do with this woman he looks at this as an already past memory she just wants this woman to get the picture but she won't you have the lovers reversed this woman doesn't want to do that all right i see um some form of documentation this woman there's something that's keeping her tied to this man and it's not a marriage it's something that has to do with this man's prized valuables of life anything that this man owns his possessions right it has everything to do with that that's why this woman wants to stay because of this man's material wealth his things of life 
she feels like you're getting in the way of her ticket her meal ticket her, her shopping ticket her makeup ticket foundation concealer all that her perfume ticket her her petrol ticket a rent ticket this man does everything for this woman and now that he won't anymore because he wants nothing to do with her he was only doing it thinking that oh i'm trying to build a relationship with this person i'm trying to show up in a loving way that i can that is no longer the case with this man he has seen the snake in this woman like this man has seen this woman for who she truly is he's actively trying to leave this relationship and this woman is actively trying to keep him there while at the same time destroying your life This is a woman that's very bitter and angry. She's irrational. All she cares about is keeping this man under her control and destroying your life. Yeah, justice. This is a comic relationship that this man is in. This is a comic woman, a woman of no values, no standards, no morals, no ethics, no traditions, no dignity, no integrity. All this woman cares about is money. And she's willing to do anything for it. Say whatever, do whatever, act however for it. Like this man is sick of like this woman's whole entire identity. She can't, she can't like, it's like he can't stomach her. Like looking at this woman makes this man cringe. Like he's that, to him, this woman is just a stranger now. He has completely eliminated this woman from his whole entire mind, heart and spirit and body. This man has already let this woman like go. Like he does not want to be with this woman. This man wants to be in a relationship with you. He wants to come to you. He wants to be with you. This woman wants to be the one that marries this man and has everything that he has her goal is to get this man to marry her with the queen of pentacles like she wants to be this man's wife because she wants all his uh, material harvest to fall in her name she wants to inherit what this man has she just wants to um piggyback right she wants to leech she wants to take from this man Hence, she's doing all these love spells on him. It's like this woman is getting desperate because this man doesn't... It's like it's not working on this man, these love spells, this love work that they've been doing upon this man's energy. It's not working. It's like this woman is not seeing any results. This man is not budging. This man's not doing anything, saying anything, acting in any way. This man's still in his body, in his mind, in his heart. Because he's protected by God. Because you are meant to be with him. And this is meant to be a kingdom spouse. This man got with this woman thinking she's a specific person because that's how she portrayed herself to be. And this man is a good person and he was genuinely seeking a relationship. So he got into a relationship with her. And now that he's seen the snake in her and obviously wants nothing to do with the, this woman here. And knows he made a mistake by even being with her. Now this woman does not want this man to go. This man, this woman thinks this woman, this woman thinks this man doesn't know that she's a witch, but he does. He's well aware. It's not a secret to this man. This man knows. Word got around. He's seen something, he's heard something. He knows. This woman still thinks this man doesn't know. She doesn't want to believe that this man could know that about her. Because it would ruin everything. But everything is already ruined. We have the Ten of Souls reversed. She does not want to believe it. She just doesn't want to believe that this man has seen her for who she truly is. And has moved on with his life. 
and she just she doesn't want to get it. She doesn't want to see the situation like that. She's obsessing over keeping this man stuck with her. And she's going above and beyond. Doing anything and everything, but nothing is working. For a long time, this woman has been separated from this man. This man has been actively cleansing his space, his energy, his mind, his heart, his body from this woman. Like this man has been actively wanting this woman just out of his life, like you, out of his world and reality. It's like, yo, fuck off. Like, I don't want, like, fuck you. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? You know? And he's been wanting a first thought, wanting to just forget that he ever was even with someone like that. So this woman has been getting so many consultations on this man, readings, and she's well informed about the state of this man. She knows this man is on his way to you. And she feels like it's been way too long since she's been able to get into this man's energy because she's been actively trying to keep him stuck with spells and it hasn't been working. She's been behind the scenes doing all these spells, love charms and love spells, and this man's not budging. So she's like trying to figure out another way to stop him. But she knows she can't get into his energy because this man has made it clear that she's nothing but a stranger to him. She's more, she's more focused on controlling this man's free will because she knows this man will never willingly want her ever in his life. She wants these spells to work. You understand? She wants these love charms, these love spells. She wants them to work. So she's trying to do something else because getting into this man's energy is not an option. This man will literally call 911 or have this woman put to jail for harassment and stalking. This man wants nothing to do with this obsessive freak with the Five of Pentacles. This man knows this woman is a witch. Who deserves nothing from him and deserved nothing from him even now in the past and even in the present this man is not beating himself up for the fact that he saw her in a particular way because he didn't think that oh this person could be a witch and a snake it's not him it's not his fault that he had love for the wrong person he was just of love What's wrong with that? The hell? It'd be women like this that it's just it's disgusting, man. Like, it's like this man is not like this man. It he doesn't think about this woman. He feels nothing for this woman. This man, there's been more than 365 days that have passed on earth that he hasn't thought a single thought about this woman. If anything about this woman arises, it would not from, it was, it will never be from his own free will. It was never from his own, oh, I'm actively thinking about her, I actively feel these emotions. No, this man will never want her. This man has completely like this man has made up his whole entire conclusion about this woman yo i dated this person thinking this was just a person we're gonna get into a relationship and i'm trying to build something and see where it goes figuring out oh this is a big fat liar and a snake who's nothing but a witch and has been bewitching me when i'm nothing but good to her and showing love to her all she cares about is what I have. She's nothing but an animal. Why would this man still have the same emotions and thoughts towards this woman? It will forever change any perception that this man had. What this man sees now is a desperate woman who's a few feet away from a jail cell for harassment and stalking. Because this man is sick of this woman following him around. He's sick of it.
we have the two of wands this woman has been trying to stalk this man excessively wanting to remind this man of her identity because she's she knows this man will never this man even in his deathbed he'll never think about this bitch and the supposed relationship will just be something that he once did in the past and the past that doesn't exist anymore because it's merely just a memory one which he doesn't even think of so it's non-existent this woman will forever be non-existent to this man an absolute stranger it's like oh anyway oh we were up oh. anyway it's nothing like damn like i remember how we used to and this this man like i said why the fuck would this man be in that state of being about a damn witch this woman has been doing these spells wanting them to hit this man but they've been hitting her hence she's obsessively stalking this man because she's under her own love spells and love charms towards him she's actively chasing him like this and stalking him because she's literally under her own spells it's like all this man cares about is being with you and moving on with his life and just living this woman is still in the state of being of the every like these spells are making this woman stay in the emotions and thoughts that she had when she was with this man meaning this woman will never be able to feel anything for anyone else except for this man not because that's her genuine free will but because she's bound to that fate by her own love spells they've made her fall in love with a man that will never want her that's the backfire this man is completely new when he was with this woman he was not who he is now so like i said everything about him has changed and because of that truth it reflects the backfire of the spell because this man was meant to be stuck on this woman love sick over this woman to the point where nothing else and no one else matters but this woman but the adverse effect is that this woman is constantly stalking this man's life every day because the spells have hit her she's obsessed with this man because the spells have hit her it's the spells making her obsessed it's the spells making her chase this man it's the spells making her have all these feelings and thoughts it's not real it's not valuable or sentimental or genuine or sincere it means nothing it's just an illusion it's a lie and she has to live with the same lie she wanted to put on this man this man's life was meant to be cursed with this woman's presence because she is nothing but a curse she goes around bewitching people it's about time that this woman reflects and understands that she's in her own illusions like this woman is just delusional that's what we see from the outside looking in but the inside truth is that her love spell backfired and it's making her delusional that's the adverse effect like you see your own things you feel your own things you think your own things but it's not real that's why this man was meant to be so in love with this woman that he does not see anyone else but her but this is a woman who doesn't even like this you understand this man's true emotions towards this woman is disgust he sees her as a perverted person who only cares about her own demons who's sick minded emotionally ill like this man has all these things that he feels towards this woman none of them have to do with love but the spells were meant to keep him in that illusion imagine this man's life would be a complete lie then his ancestors his bloodline was never going to stand for that for a weird bitch to stand in the way of a divine masculine's thy kingdom come that's why you and this man will come together you and this man will be in your happily ever after and this woman will suffer in her sins as an obsessive stalker bitch 
in everyone else's eyes. And she has to go back to the truth when she's alone that she bewitched someone and it backfired on her. And now her whole life is ruined. The tables are turning actively. It's in motion, it's in transaction transition. It's already happening. The shift is here. The spells are not only making this woman, it's like now that we've established how it's affecting, how the love spells are affecting her, let's establish the black magic and how it's affecting her. Don't forget she did black magic on you. We've established what she did to this masculine. Let's talk about what she did to you. If it were up to this woman, you would never receive a good opportunity in your life. There would be no progress or no growth in any fact, fact, factor of your life or aspect of your life. You wouldn't be able to talk, you would be deaf, you would be blind. This woman did every single thing, every single spell of darkness she tried to put over your life. Nothing has hit you. Do you understand the doom that awaits this woman? She's not going to just be an obsessive stalker bitch who bewitched the wrong person. She's going to also be broke, ugly because of the beauty spells she did as well. Not just the financial constraints she tried to place upon your identity as well. Unattractive, broke, sick minded, emotionally ill spiritually filthy and able to manifest anything for yourself not being able to get out of the energy you're in this woman is trapped in the energy of the illusion that she loves this man the way she does but she doesn't and the truth is she can't even control her obsession that's the backfire the spell will control you imagine the lunacy of this woman She's actively losing her mind right now because she knows she's experiencing something that isn't real and she can't control it. Imagine not being able to control the fact that you're doing this, but you know that you look crazy doing this. She knows she looks crazy, obsessed, fucking creepy, disgusting, delusion. She knows all these things. She just can't control her own actions, her own thoughts and her own emotions. She can't help but try and stalk this man. And when I tell you all this man wants to do is see this bitch locked up and maybe she'll get the help she really needs. Maybe they'll take her to get herself checked up for real and ask her where all of this stems from. Because this man is sick of this woman. There's things that this man, this man doesn't want to speak this woman's name in his reality. This woman doesn't bother him any at any in any inch. This woman to this man means nothing. It's like another human being roaming earth. Whatever. We have the full reverse. This woman is ashamed, embarrassed, and humiliated. She does not even feel like living another day, but she's gonna live, oh, she's gonna live all right. She's gonna live to suffer the consequences of her own actions. She's gonna live in the same illusions she tried to create and send to people on earth. The same financial constraints are the ones she'll have. The same lack of opportunities are the ones she'll have. The same mental health issues are the ones she'll have. The same emotional, illnesses are the ones she'll have the same ugliness she projected onto you and wanted you to live in, in beauty work with beauty spells and glamour magic where you look in the mirror and never see anything beautiful about yourself anything you do you just hate yourself you think you're disgusting you're the most evil wicked person like you understand this woman has sown her own hell and she she's gonna reap what she's sown every day and she's going to wish that 
a new energy comes into her life and she gets out of this one but it won't be like that because she's already actively done this black magic and all these love spells and love charms and it can't be undone she has to suffer she has to however much time she wanted you and your life to be destroyed because when your life is destroyed it's destroyed when things fall apart they fall apart she wanted you to have no way of getting back up. She wanted things to be so chaotic for you that you don't see a way forward. you like, man, why am I even here? What am I even doing? She wants you to, she wanted you to be not seen as anything worthy of any good in life. She wanted you to not have it in you to keep going. Look at what's happening to her. That's exactly what's happening to her. She's just suffering in silence with it. Because who gives a fuck? She's the one that did the bewitching. Right? Who's gonna care that she bewitched someone? She has to live with the backfire. The ancestors are not going to sit back and allow a kingdom marriage to not come together because of a Jezebel comic spirited woman. Yeah, judgment is here. And there's no empathy for someone like this. There will never be any empathy and mercy upon a soul like this. She needs an exorcism. So many demons within that even exist. They need to be cleansed. She needs to learn. So her life will fall apart as a lesson. Everything she wished unto you and this man will happen to her. And you and this man will forever be happy together. Because this is a relationship that's meant to come together. There's a reason there's all this opposition anyway. This woman is trying to come up against something she also sees to be great. She doesn't want to just not be with this man because of what he has. She does not want you to make this man better. She does not want you to put this man in an energy that she will never have access to. Because she knows, oh, once this man is in the state of being, he'll never want anything to do with someone like me. He already never wanted to be with someone like you to begin with. It's the witchcraft, right, ho? It's never been that way. You know that. He, he never loved you. You know that. You always never wanted to be with this witch. Bitch. And now the time has come for this man to see the truth of who this woman really is and he has. Everyone. Things are gonna fall apart in this woman's life. We all have to pay for our sins. Whether we choose to repent or not, they'll catch up. Yeah, look at that again, the hermit. It's like this woman is in a level of darkness she doesn't even understand. She's so broken and damaged. Mm. It's hard for this woman to want to live. But like I said, this was meant to be you. This woman feels like you're standing in the way of something she's destined for. Like... You're standing in the way of this man being with her. You're standing in the way of her life being a particular way. This woman is afraid of who you are because you being with this man is something that she knows and understands well. Like she knows that you and this man will be looked at as this dreamy couple, very attractive, ambitious, leadership type of couple you know like in a certain power um type of couple and this woman is afraid of that they're afraid of the power that you and this man are gonna have together and give to one another because this man is gonna put you in a pedestal and you're gonna put him in a pedestal and you're going to be a testimony to those around you and will forever be like that people around you will forever respect you and love you and care for you and care about you which is her biggest fear because she never wanted you to be anything in life. She's afraid of you. She's afraid of your identity. She's afraid of your future. 
She's afraid of your past because she knows you conquered your story. You conquered your demons. You conquered your, your Goliath. Okay? You defeated your enemy. You triumphant. And she has to live with the fact that she wanted you to be nothing when you're going to have everything she's ever wanted. Like, literally, God is going to give you everything this woman has ever wanted. As karma for her wickedness and evilness. You're going to have everything with this man. Things are going to work out for you and this man. You're going to be beautiful and attractive. You're smart, intellectual, and intelligent. You're going to thrive. You're going to live in your glory and abundance and purpose. And you're going to have someone in the background actively out of their mind, out of their heart, out of their body. Because of all the witchcraft they played with. We have the Ace of Wands. There's nothing you under the sun, nothing you under the moon. This woman is one of many. There's so many women that cast spells on men for them to, you know, be with those men. And the backfire is going to be severe, hence we are all collectively, you know, reading on the energy because a lot of women have done this to men in hopes to prevent them from moving on with their life. And a lot of women have been attacking divine feminines. A lot of comics, comics have been attacking divine feminines. Comic women have been atta attacking divine women, right? And holy women have been attacking holy women. That's the spiritual battle that we've been going through within the womanhood community. Whether it's spiritual attacks, mental attacks, emotional attacks, physical attacks, there's been so much happening. And all has to be returned back to where it came from so that balance can be restored. And with the will of fortune reversed, if things don't go back to where they came from to this person, if the black magic didn't hit them and the love spells didn't hit them, imagine this whole having the reality that she wants. This demon of evil and wicked roaming earth having her way. Oh, bitch. You wish. You're going to die and suffer your sins, ho. And this divine feminine's life is going to reflect your truest dreams. And that inner child in you that hasn't healed will be like, Mommy, I want this, I want this. When she sees divine feminine conquering the world in the ways that you should have for yourself, not for anyone else. This is the same bitch that's trying to be divine feminine. It's the same woman that's trying to be you, Divine Feminine. She's convinced she's you. She's convinced she needs to be in your position. She likes to think of the ways you speak to this man, the thoughts that this cross this man's mind when this man thinks of you, the emotions this man feels. It's like this woman literally thinks this man doesn't know that she's a witch. This woman thinks this man doesn't know, but she, she literally has no clue that this man knows everything. We have the genie in the bottle reversed. This woman here, the wish they made to be who they are is their biggest mistake. They should have chosen differently. They chose to be this person who steals other people's positions with witchcraft and black magic. Imagine you need to literally force a man to love you for him to be with you. This woman is that weak. And this man will never love this woman ever in his life. This man will die with a little bit of resentment in his heart towards women like this in the world. Because he'll see it in his friends that get hurt by women like this and say, you know what? I know what you're going through. I'm sorry. Because it'd be women like this that ruin people's lives and ru ruin people's relationships and ruin people's uh, businesses and ruin people's opportunities. This man has friends that deal with comics. And he'll, he'll hear stories and he'll think, man, I dealt with a dirty bitch too. My bad. I'm being called to end this message here. 
this was your message from God, Ra, Allah, Source, the Divine. I'm grateful for your time and I thank you so much for joining me on the Prophetic Vessel Show. This will be your message from God, right? Like I said, to those who are keen or interested in becoming members of my Patreon, on my Patreon, I do offer weekly sign readings for $10 per month based on love as well as spiritual path. I also offer on my Patreon personal readings for $50 per month to get a personal reading from me every month based on love, spiritual path, career and finances, as well as ancestral messages. I also now offer one-on-one -on -one sessions slash life coach sessions. Those will be once off and not monthly. You can only book me for those directly via my email, which will be listed in my description box below, as well as the link to my Patreon. If you'd rather join my Patreon instead, you can also join my Patreon by typing what is on the screen via Google, search it, and it'll lead you to my Patreon website. Thank you all for everything, and I will see you all soon. Goodbye. Thank you.